Polo is a captivating sport. It's a discipline that is played on horseback with competitors hitting a ball with a mallet. The game tests the competitors' horse riding skills and dexterity, hitting the ball while in motion. He's going to settle things down. Let us... The game is played by two opposing teams, four players on each side in a grass field measuring 274 meters and 146 meters in width. The field has two goalposts on either end. Each goalpost is seven meters apart with the aim being to hit the ball between the goalposts to register a score with two umpires on horseback and a referee on the sidelines ensuring the rules are followed. I think the, it's kind of like basketball in the sense of how intense it is. You never have a moment where you can just sit and watch because if you sit and watch then they're going to be coming back for you. So you're just involved all the time and that's what's unique about polo. Play commences at the center of the field with the two teams lined up facing each other. One of the umpires then bowls the ball between the teams and the game begins. Once each team score, they have to change sides. Polo is played in phases which are seven and a half minutes long known as chakas with the referee on the sidelines ringing a bell to signal the end of a chaka. There are four to eight chakas in a game with a slight break in between the chakas. This right here is called devote stomping. What ideally happens is that fans come onto the field and replace the devotes that have been damaged by the horses. So it's not just about the horses, the players, the sticks and the ball. It's also about the fans coming onto the field, socializing and playing a part in the bigger grand scheme of the game. It's very interesting. I love it. Because you are mainly spectators, it feels nice like you're part of the game. You're coming to help the next game, uh, not prepare the field for them. So, yeah, we feel like we are doing something, contributing to the event. Safety is critical due to the nature of the sport and the horses need to be geared up appropriately to prevent any injury. He is also a funga boots, bit of football on a far boots and a bats. He is a kiatu kuapa chini, he is a fanya, he is an overage, and then he is a break, he is a simama, he is a kishiko, he is a kusimama, bass, a kuna kitungine. He is a kumi, he is a kuwa me pigo no mungine teke, ama am pigo no mpira kama macho, so takidera no kuja na angalia, kama ne mali me kuaruzoa, he is a kashono, ama ne mali ne seweko dawa ne kakuwa sawa. Yeah, pila waswazi. Substitutions in polo affects both the competitors and their horses. The horses get fatigued easily due to the intensity of the game. Three and a half minutes is the ideal time for a horse to be in action during a match. Once the rider senses the horse is tired, the rules allows them to change. We try and keep them calm so they don't make it difficult because you want it to be as smooth and as quick as possible. Um, and they'll hop to and we will try and untack the other horse as fast as possible, get its heart rate back down, get its breathing back down in case it needs to go out and play again. Polo is steadily growing interest amongst the indigenous Kenyans with more locals taking up the sport. It's also becoming a key social event. Come for the good vibes, fine weather, bring the kids out, have a nice meal, drinks. So it's a good time to socialize, networking, yeah. Jump on a horse, see if you like it, you probably will. And then if you like, if you like competition, then this is the sport for you. Because it's very competitive, you always get to, we all play with different people. And so there's such a good, um, there's such good relationships built because you're forced to play with everyone. Um, it's a very fast game, so it is a spectator sport. It's the responsibility of the players to make it so. Um, so we try our best as well to, to do that and get people excited about polo and get the club here to hopefully run a few introduction to polo days where people can come, you don't need a horse, you don't need any kit. Elijah Ouko, NTV Sport, Nairobi Polo Club.